Ideal Finance was among seven finance houses that had their licenses revoked together with 16 savings and loans companies by the Bank of Ghana in August 2019. Among the reasons the central bank cited for its action was the fact that the company had been faced with severe insolvency and liquidity challenges two years prior. Also, the institution was reported to have been faced with a significant capital shortfall with a capital adequacy ratio of negative 33% in breach of the minimum required of 13% with a corresponding capital deficit of negative 188.3 million cities. Again, the Bank of Ghana said that Ideal Finance faced a severe liquidity crisis with numerous complaints received by the Financial Stability Department of the Bank of Ghana from aggrieved customers who have been unable to access their deposits with the institution for several months. In addition, the company consistently failed to meet the minimum cash reserve requirement of 10% of its total deposit. Meanwhile, the shareholders of Ideal Finance failed to restore the bank to the required regulatory capital and liquidity levels in spite of long-standing promises that new capital was expected from foreign investors. Following the commencement of initial investigations, the Economic and Organized Crime Office, IOKU, on November 11, 2019, extended an invitation to Ni Hotei Jani for questioning in relation to alleged tax evasion and money laundering, a request he heeded on November 14. After being cautioned and made to give a statement in relation to 23 million cities paid to a client of Ideal Finance, a 200-acre land Mr. Jani allegedly stole from Ideal Finance as well as unlawfully using the Ideal Finance Fund to build his residence in Ada, he was granted bill to the tune of 5 million cities with two sureties, one of which was to be justified. Mr. Jani is the representative of the Greater Accra region to the Council of State, a position he has held since February 2017. On his personal Twitter handle, he describes himself as the president of Group Ideal, entrepreneur and businessman par excellence.